If I was a betting woman, I would have to say that I could call that we would not get three perfect days in a row of fantastic weather. We yeah. had Monday, Tuesday, eh, for Wednesday. It seems like a little too much to ask mm -hmm. for, but you know, those blooms are starting up. There's things to be happy about, but yes. uh, Sydney, what's it going to look like in the days ahead? You know what? Today is okay. Mm -hmm. Today is okay. Yesterday, it set a high bar. The day before, set a high bar, but today we're looking okay, close to normal. Sunshine in the morning, clouds building by the afternoon, but pollen. I'm glad I'm not the only one that noticed. It's been high and it's going to continue to be high for at least the next five days. We need a good rain to kind of tamp down on that pollen in order to not see these high pollen counts for tree pollen. That's the season that we're in, of course. So we're going to have to get through this all together because I know I'm not the only allergy sufferer out there. So temperatures going through our evening, upper 40s. If you're heading to Fenway, the temperatures are going to be in the upper 40s. It will be mainly dry. We just have some clouds that are going to be building in by that time. By around the evening commute, that's when we're gaining in the clouds and it's going to keep temperatures fairly steady as we go through much of our evening, which is almost a good thing. It won't get too chilly overnight tonight. So temperatures around 54 in Cambridge, 52 for Boston College, 52 in Milton, and going through our day, these temperatures, especially inland, are going to continue the climb. A little bit more difficult for areas along the coast to get all that up there because we had a wind shift overnight last night. And it's going to be bringing in a sea breeze, keeping us a little bit cooler out there. Definitely not pushing the 70s today. But we will likely make it to the low 50s before those clouds start to grab on around 4, 5, 6 o'clock. And we're going to see a full sky of clouds by the time that we're heading into the evening and by the time the sun goes down just before 730. So high temperatures today around 54 for Boston areas inland pushing the middle fifth middle 60s. Excuse me, Fitchburg 65 Worcester 62. So that's some good news that we will have a bit of a warm up, uh, especially inland today. But our next couple of days, we're staying cooler Friday, staying in the middle 50s above normal, though. Once we get into Saturday, Saturday will be a treat. The thing is, we have morning showers Saturday, but don't cancel the day because once those showers clear out, it's going to make for a gorgeous forecast for the second half of the day, staying above normal into the start of next week, but staying very close to normal. That's great. We're going to be seeing temperatures pretty steady on the 10 day forecast and even beyond the 10 day forecast. It doesn't look like we're going to have any large temperature variations like going from the low 70s to the low 50s, about a 20 degree difference within a few days. Oh, we're not going to see that these next 10 days. We're going to stay fairly steady Saturday being potentially an exception. All right, so as far as today goes, we're staying mainly dry, but Thursday, this is a look very early Thursday morning. Right now we're at three o'clock in the morning. Central Massachusetts getting in on that rain. A few pockets of heavier rain are possible. As this system tries to progress, though, it's going to start breaking apart. It's not going to hold on to all the moisture that it has. So this is a look at seven o'clock on Thursday morning, potentially Boston getting in on a shower or two. These are our next rain chances, but then beyond this, we're going to see a few showers uh, possible for Saturday. So Thursday by the afternoon, we'll be holding on to clouds, but not as far as those rain chances are concerned. We're not still going to be getting wet Friday, a bit cloudy, possibly a shower or two late Friday, but it's going to be early Saturday when we do have those next rain chances joining us and Saturday potentially seeing those rain chances uh, until around noon in spots. But once we get into Sunday, it's going to be looking very nice, very sunny. That sunshine returning Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday and temperatures staying steady in those upper 50s. I know <laughs> I love when you say the best for news for land. I know right. it's great. Look at all the sunshine next week. We have it back. <laughs> we'll take it. Sydney, thanks so much.